From old Vietnam, far away, a letter came for me today. It came from Joe, my only son, and told of things that he had done. Of course, he couldn't tell me much, what with censored words and such. Still, I understood so very well what Joey Boy had hoped to tell. His letter stirred some memories of a soldier boy in 43. I drifted back to yesterday when Joy Boy was hard at play. With tousled hair and naked feet, he kept things bright on our street. Darting about like a harried hound, man alive, how he got around. Every day just when the clock struck four, Joy showed up at the superstore. Bagging food and placing stock. Joey got home around eight o'clock. Then he'd grab his books, get his lessons read, and then make haste to crawl in bed. And soon familiar words I'd hear. Words that pleased the father's ears. God, you've been so good to me. You've really blessed our family. But if you will, I pray that you will help our needy neighbors too. I ask you, Lord, to take them in. They sure could use at least one friend. Now I ask forgiveness for my sins. Bless us all. Good night. Amen. Now as I recall that simple prayer and think of joy over there, I feel ashamed of those who sneer at priceless freedom everywhere. How they mock and taunt and scorn the precious place where they were born. It sure is hard to understand the twisted thinking in our land. Joy never carried signs or walked in demonstration lines. He couldn't see contempt for law or marching down on City Hall. No, I never had to furnish bail to go get Joy out of jail. He loved his country as he should, the way I knew that Joey would. We hear so much about Vietnam. I've read opinions pro and con, but high above the noisy din, familiar words ring out again. Give me liberty or give me death. Ageless words I can't forget. But somehow now they mean much more since that wire came to my door. But Joy knew and so did I that men must fight and men must die, giving all that they can give on some far-flung battlefield. No, there's no doubt about my boy. He knew what he was fighting for, for he gave his all for Uncle Sam and died last month in old Vietnam.